going on shit with Ant Squad, it's your boy Ant, back with you guys with another video. So, we have to talk about the events that took place last night on Monday Night Raw. This, the, the Raw After Survivor Series was absolutely top notch. This show was absolutely a really good, good, good show. Having Randy Orton come, come back after like a whole year and a half since he's been out. Really loved it because they were doing a little tease of how <clears throat> Randy was about to hit uh, the RKO on Rhea, but did, that didn't happen. But they're probably saving it for later. Then uh, Randy Orton has his match with Dominic Mysterio, really, which Randy Orton hits, gives the RKO to uh, Dominic Mysterio to win his match. Uh, Seth coming out, giving his uh, comments about the return of CM, CM Punk, which we're about to get in a, in a minute. Then uh, Drew McIntyre comes out with trying to get, an, get another rematch for the world title. But then Seth realizes that Seth is going to... Uh, he already gave his... Uh, has a championship match, but it's not against Drew. It's against Jay. And that's when Drew felt some type of way about it, and he attacks him, which leaves a uh, a blood mark on top of his forehead. Then Jay comes out, attacks him, makes him bleed, and then Jay looks at the championship and looks at Seth and lets him know that this match, don't get me wrong, I'm really looking for, forward to, because this match is really going to be in, insane. Really looking forward to that match next week. And then... Uh, before we even get to that, there has been some teases of breaking up within the Judgment Day. Of how Damien really let the team down because, as a matter of fact, he was the one that ate the pin for the War Games match this past Saturday. And that they're trying to get ourselves back on track because they have a new challengers for the tag titles, which is the Creed Brothers, who won their tag team tur turmoil last night. And... I think that's where they're teasing it a little bit because considering the fact that Damien wasn't the, Damien did make it clear that he was the leader but it was Rhea the one that made Damien the leader for for war games but I'm really looking forward to that because they're planting the seeds right then, then and there so we get to uh, we are going to we get to the main the closing of the show where CM Punk comes out and the and I gotta tell y'all this right now the crowd last night at Nashville they was on it considering the fact that Rand, not only Randy Orton is back and also CM Punk as well that was really it's like 2011 all over again if you know what I mean but CM Punk comes out he cuts a really good good promo and he was shooting a little little shots when he said uh, a wise man once told me that I need I need to leave because if you guys remember back in 2014 CM Punk left WWE right after the night after Royal Rumble Considering the fact that he chose to leave, but it was Paul's idea to let him leave so that way he could take some time off and focus on himself. But I gotta tell you this. There are so many options that WWE can do with this. I'm really looking, really looking forward to it. Considering the fact that CM Punk is back and Randy Orton as well. But considering the fact that Randy has a whole lot of receipts, especially... When it comes to the blood bloodline, because they're the reason that he's been out for a whole year. So, CM Punk comes out and lets him know that I'm home. For him saying that, that was really good. And the fact that he didn't bring no, uh, he had he didn't have to mention no other company like that was in the past. Considering the fact that they were happy of he was back and people are excited to see him back, but some people. Or not, because if y'all saw when Survivor Series went off the air, Seth Rollins, he was pissed because 
you already know when it comes to Seth and CM Punk, they have really legit beef with each other. And considering the fact that he didn't even have to mention his name was absolutely insane. And the fact that he's back and he and this was like probably one of the most greatest things he ever said that I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to make money. And that's how he clo closed out the show. Overall, Monday Night Raw last night, 10 out of 10. 10 show. This show was really good. You can see seeing Randy Orton come back and have his his uh, first match back for where he's been out for a whole year. CM Punk cutting a huge promo, shooting some shots at Seth. And... This is really this is really good considering the fact that we've just passed Survivor Series and the next PLE is the Royal Rumble which is next year and WWE has a whole lot of options to like how they're going to book this cuz not only is Randy Orton back but CM Punk is back there's so many other storylines that WWE can do. And what I'm really looking forward to is how is Roman going to react knowing that not only CM Punk is back, but Randy is back as well. Because, and I'm really looking forward to the feud between CM Punk and Roman, and most likely Randy versus Roman as well, but let's keep it a buck. The only reason that you're the top guy, Roman, is because I left. But I don't want to get too excited, excited y'all, because this, <clears throat> oh my God, there's so many options to do, because now that, that we don't have no PLE event for next next month for December, and they have a whole lot of lot of time to like figure this out. I'm really all for for it to see like what they do do here for the next uh for the final month before we hit into Royal Rumble, which is the road to WrestleMania. I'm really all for it, especially I know they're probably gonna do a build up between CM Punk and Seth for next year's WrestleMania Mania, but I'm really looking forward to it that what they what they do here and all. But so comment down below what do you guys uh take take of what what got you excited last night on Monday Night Raw? I appreciate the time. Uh, Road to 1K, it's up and stuck. Thanks for showing me. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.